Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys. Yes, happy Blues Day Tuesday all you guys out there. You guys already know what the deal is. Today is Blues Day Tuesday, so you already guys already know what it is. It's time to go blurry hunting, buddy. Uh, we got some couple new releases coming out. We got Venom, Let There Be Carnage comes out today. We got Wolf of Wall Street on 4K comes out. Also has a Steelbook. I think Steelbook for Venom too, but they might not have it at Best Buy. And also, what's the last thing? I know there's something else. The Last Duel. The Last Duel also comes out on 4K and Blu-ray. So let's go see if we can find these releases at the stores. Hope you guys are ready for this. If you guys enjoy uh, these Blu-ray hunting videos, you guys enjoy Blu-ray collection videos, Blu-ray haul videos, reviews, live streams, watch-alongs, all that type of content, you're in the right place. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. Uh, more videos will be coming in the future. Hope you guys are ready for that as well. And let's get into the video. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, you guys, made it outside of Best Buy. Let's go see if they got these new releases. Let's see if they got these steel books in stock. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's head into the Beast, and that is Best Buy. Let's see what they got for us today. All right, you guys, just got a Best Buy, and wow, they got a decent amount of Wolf of Wall Street steel books, you guys. Look at this. Those look pretty nice, doesn't it? Yeah, that look pretty nice. I don't know. Maybe I might get that. We got the regular slipcover right here. It only comes with the 4K and the digital code for some reason, but this comes with the Blu-ray and the 4K. So maybe I might get that, we'll see. Here's the Steelbook for Venom. It does look nice, but I don't have a Steelbook for the first one, so I might not get it. Here's the slipcover version, it's nice. And there's the Blu-ray, it's going for $22.99, $29.99, $34.99. That's a little pricey, yo, but it is what it is. But that's all I'm seeing right now. Let's go over to the new Blu-ray section and see what's over there. All right, you guys, over by the new Blu-ray section, and they do have it today. They do have the Who Frame Roger Rabbit today, you guys. They didn't have it last week. They had none in stores. I think this just came out too, this new Dune. It doesn't come with the box, just the 4K. No slipcover though, which is weird, but it is what it is. There's something else coming out. It's, oh, Last Duel. Where's Last Duel at, though? Last Duel is nowhere to be found? Where's Last? Oh, it's right here, but it's empty. Wow. Okay, well, maybe they didn't. Maybe they got a little stock on that stuff, but, yeah, I mean, that's all I'm seeing, you guys. That's all I'm seeing today. I think that's the only three things I was looking forward to, but, yeah. Aren't you guys to go all the 4k they got a lot of sales going on you guys like it's a lot of sales going on today you guys they got x Machina for ten dollars that's pretty dope on 4k i want to upgrade that but not at the moment um but yeah they got some stuff on sale you guys surprisingly yeah, I mean, yeah, so, yeah. still want to upgrade this because i know i'm getting no time to down 4k but i need to get the rest of these on 4k Oh man, it's cool. Maybe I'll do it um, later. All right, you guys, just got out of Best Buy. Um, I did get some stuff, so obviously you guys know the drill. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. So let's go ahead to our next destination. I think I'm about to go to Half Price Books, see if they got an error. I know I went in there last week. Let's see if they got anything new, probably not, but we're gonna head there, then we're gonna head to probably. I'm gonna go into Walmart, see what they got in there, most likely nothing. Then I'm gonna go into Target, and maybe the exchange, we'll see. I still got a little bit of store credit left, but we'll see, let's go. All right, you guys, let's head to Half Price Books and see what they got for us today. One day I'm gonna buy these, one day I'm gonna buy these, one day. One day I'm gonna buy these, one day. I wanna own these physically. They are $7.99, aren't they? Yeah, one day I'll get those. One day, one day, season 16.
All right, you guys, just got out of Half Price Books. I did went to Dollar Tree to see if they had anything in there. Didn't have nothing as usual. Uh, probably not gonna go to Walmart because I got a feeling I'm gonna be disappointed. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna head to Target, and then maybe I'll go to the exchange it's on the way back to the house and see if they got anything new. I still got a little bit of store credit left, so let's go ahead head to Target. All right, Target, don't let me down. Have them new releases out, please. Have them out for me. Let's get it. So I'm at Target, and they actually have the Wolf of Wall Street Steelbook too. Wow. Okay. Well. They got most of the new releases out. No 4K for the last duel, just a Blu-ray. Do I have this, the slip cover for Venom? And here's the exclusive for Target. I think you get like cards. I don't know what's going on with Target now, but that's what I guess they're doing now. They're giving you cards instead. Still debating whether or not I should get it or not. We'll see. But they also got this double pack with Venom and Venom 2. Just dope. Anything else on this side? They got some sales going on here. It's cool. But yeah, I'm not seeing no 4K for the last duel. Yeah, okay. Well, just looking like that side of the question. All the new releases, I guess. But like I said, I'm not seeing the 4K for the last duel, you guys. It's crazy. They got a lot of sales going on, you guys, as well. Look like the in the heights um, 4k is $19.99 the blu-ray is $14.99 the DVD is $9.99 the conjuring is $14.99 this fast and the fierce collection is $59.99 they got the DVD for Candyman for $9.99 they said we got some sales going on at Target as well you guys so if you guys want to come check them out come check them out this is on sale for $79.99, but I think this if, this, if I'm not mistaken, this is still on sale on Amazon for like $60, if I'm not mistaken, though. So, you know, they got Zack Snyder's Justice League for $19.99, which is dope. They got the Forever Purge on sale as well for $19.99. The Blu-ray is $14.99. Uh, so same with Fast 9. All the Fast 9s are on sale as well. All right, you guys, just got a Target... Uh, I picked up one thing at Target. It's just, I get very disappointed when I go to Target every time because I feel like the books are overtaking the entire media section. At some point, it's not going to be any physical media over there. It's going to be nothing but books, 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 books. It's crazy how many books they got in there. It's crazy that most of the Black Friday sales for the standees they had for books, not movies, which is weird. Um, but um, yeah, um, I think I'm probably going to stop at the last stop. We're going to stop. At, I'm going to stop at the exchanges and on the way to the house. And if I don't see nothing in there, we'll just be cutting straight to the house and show you guys what I picked up. So let's go. All right, you guys made it outside of the exchange. Let's see if they got anything new in here for us today. I got a still a little bit of store credit left. So see what they got in here for us today. All right, you guys, let's go into my favorite place in the world, the exchange. Let's go.
All right, you guys, just got out of the exchange, picked up a couple things. You guys, you know the drill, you about to head home, and I'm gonna show you guys what all I picked up today. Right, you guys, made it back to the crib. Now I'm about to show you guys what I picked up today. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight titles, got some stuff from the exchange, half price books, and Best Buy. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I picked up. Starting off with the regular Blu-rays, the first thing I got was just go with it with adam sandler and jennifer aniston um i was i was at my brother-in-law's house and this movie was on and i was actually it was a pretty enjoying what i was seeing didn't really watch all of it but i liked what i was seeing um, i heard this was a pretty decent comedy so i'm ready to give it a watch it was only five bucks at the exchange so got uh just go with it then from half price books i picked up Anchorman 2. Um, I, I mean, you guys see, I bought Anchorman 1. Need that Anchorman 2 to collection. So now I got both Anchormans now on Blu ray. So I picked up Anchorman 2. Now, this movie right here, this is an upgrade because I do have the DVD and I can get rid of that DVD. Hopefully, I can because the exchange really don't take DVDs. But I finally upgraded August Rush. Um, this is basically like a, I guess you could say it's a musical, I guess. Um, uh, and I, I really enjoyed this movie. I remember watching it in school, really liking it, maybe buy the DVD, and I really enjoyed watching it. It was actually it was factory sealed at half price books. It was only $5.99, so picked that up as well. August Rush. And the last Blu-ray I picked up today was Dark City. It was only $3 at half price books. I haven't seen this movie, but um, it was only $3, and I hear things about it. You know, people say it's okay. So it was, like I said, $3 for a Blu-ray, can't buy it, so yeah. Dark City. Now getting into the 4K that I picked up. The first thing I got today, and I got it from the exchange, and I used store credit to get it as well, and that's Space Jam, A New Legacy. Now, I'm uh, kind of upset because it doesn't have a digital code, but it is what it is. I think it's also, it's on HBO Max, so I can watch it digitally, but I'm, I had to get finally picked up the 4K. I've been really holding out on it. I really didn't want to spend no money on it, so I basically just used what little store credit I have to pick this up, and it came with a slipcover, which was cool. They had one with a slipcover, one without a slipcover. Of course, I had to go with the one with the slipcover. So yeah, finally own uh, Space Jam New Legacy in the collection on 4K. And the next thing I picked up, which they finally had in stores, and that's Who Framed Roger Rabbit on 4K. They didn't have this last week. They finally had it in store. Still no steelbook, but they had the slipcover. I was going to get the slipcover anyway. So finally happy to upgrade this and I can get rid of the Blu-ray I have. And yeah, so I'm very happy to have it. I really do enjoy this movie too, so... Who Framed Roger Rabbit on 4K? And you guys are probably going to be like, why the hell did you pick this up, bro? This movie is trash. It's ass. But um, I said, fuck it, you guys. And I picked up Venom. Let there be carnage. Yes, I'm, I, I'm probably an idiot. I probably, This probably be one of the stupidest purchases I've ever made throughout this entire year. But I have the first one. And I, I enjoyed the first one. I probably would not like this movie. But, I mean, it is what it is. I'm a completionist. So, yeah. Venom, Let There Be Carnage on 4K. And the last thing I picked up today, which I was surprised that they actually had a lot of these in the store, and that is The Wolf of Wall Street, the steelbook from Best Buy. And actually, it's actually I thought this was going to be a Best Buy exclusive, but they had it in Target for some reason. So I was pretty um, surprised about that. And what's weird is because this actually comes with the Blu-ray and the 4K, but the regular slipcover does not come with the Blu-ray. So now I actually can get rid of my Blu-ray because I was actually going to get the slipcover, but i seen that this actually comes with the Blu-ray, so I might as well just get this and finally get rid of my Blu-ray I have because it comes with both. So yeah, I did pick up the Wolf of Wall Street, the 4K steel book. And that does it for my Blu-ray hunt video. That's everything I picked up today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. If you guys enjoy Blu-ray hunting, Blu-ray hauls, Blu-ray collections, live streams, reviews, watch-alongs, all that type of content, you're in the right place. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. Also, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on my videos. I really appreciate that. And I'm honest with you guys. Peace out.